All right, so the sewer starts right here. It's broken right there at the gap between my and my arrow right there. At least that's where I'm located. It's probably just a little after it. We do have this nice maple tree right here with the little leaves that we may have to trim back. But if we can strap it back and save all the limbs, I'd like to. Uh, the sewer here is six feet deep. All right, it's running at an angle over towards that flag. Uh, I want to go just beyond that flag. That's Efren's flag, and the sewer is coming right over here. Okay, you can see it's six feet deep. It's about 11 feet long. Uh, you might have to pull out a few little bushes over here. Definitely some grass. You have plenty of room all over the place to, to pile of dirt. The only problem is swinging the machine is going to be fun, but you should be able to do it by bringing it around this way and piling here. I do need plastic and plywood all through here. Probably six sheets of plywood would be good uh, so that we can pile all this dirt on here. We're going to be doing very little... Uh, grass right here so if we can scoop this sod back set it to the side over here and put it back when we're done so he doesn't have any real grass work to do that would be great he does have to water it uh the ivy will grow back but yeah and so the sewer broke dropped down and goes uphill and then there's roots a massive ball of roots right there then once we got it all exposed we are going to hydrojet it uh since we're in this little area right here i'm going to put a two-way clean out so that we can go backwards and forwards if we ever need to